cut solid tree. We'll give it the elevation of a truncated cone and unfinished plan and the unfinished end view. We're asked to find the cut in the plan and the end view. This is what the cone looks like with the cut marked on it and that's the plan of it. Now that's the top taken off it and that's the section we'll see. That's what the elevation looks like there and in the end view that's what we expect to see there. What I've done here is I've divided the plan into 12 equal parts with the 30 degree set square and projected them to the elevation and got the lines on the surface in the elevation. 0p in plan and in elevation and that point is where it's cut so bring that point down to the plan and bring all these other points down as well. Now this centre one we can't find the point on the generator down here because it's vertical so we have to find that from the end view. So project the rest on down, bring this point across now to the end view and now that's two points on the end view there. Project them down to the plan and that's the two points in the plan there. Now locate the points from the elevation. So OP, this point is on these two generators here. That's two more points. The center ones we have already from the end view. That's those two. And then the last one. And just line in those lightly. And that's what the section will look like in the plan. Project the points on over to the end view. And now locate the points on the cut in the end view. And now a freehand curve through those. And that's the end view complete. Now we're asked to get the true shape of the cut, so I'm going to project at 90 degrees to the cut surface. I'm going to draw a red line here and I'll also draw the red line in plan. Take the distance in the plan and mark them up on the new view. And that is the true shape of the cut surface and that's cut solids tree complete.